Very important for us to understand. Rabbi Nachman of Westlev changed the name of the Yetzirah. In different generations, the name of the Yetzirah was changed. In the beginning, they called him the devil, and in the first generation, he was the snake. His name was Nachash. A lot of names been changed because also his purpose and they been upgraded. But Rabbeinu, Rabbi Nachman of Westlev made a huge change and he revealed to us and he changed the name of the Yetzara and he called the Yetzara the power of imagination. What that dark side, the darkness, the powers of evil, what really can they do to us today? So Rabbeinu called them the power of imagination. That's it. All of those evil powers, Satan, the devil, the snake, our imaginations. It's the power of imagination. If a person is going to decide today that he will strengthen himself to fight, just to focus on the real purpose, on his job in life, and to follow his heart in Avodat Hashem, to try to count on Hashem and not to let all of those bad foreign thoughts, thoughts of despair and sadness and angers, to push him, to reject him from his purpose of life, he will not going to be rejected. There is no devil that can hurt you. There is no snake that can bite you. Today it's only the power of imagination means that today if you have Yetzirah, you have thoughts that are trying to push you and reject you from the purpose of your life. And if you're going to be strong enough not to be convinced by those thoughts, it will not going to affect you. Yetzirah cannot touch you, cannot hurt you, cannot move you, cannot tilt you in a breath of a hair from the purpose of your life cannot move you one inch from your success if we're going to fight to be who that we are and to decide not to let the power of imagination to make us sad and depressed and to give up and to say no but I prayed so many times but I tried so many times I was working on it and I was getting stronger and then the Yetzirah came imaginations, thoughts of sadness and depression came to you when you were weak, when you were a little bit confused and they just knocked you down. But now the decisions that you're taking to connect yourself to that sadness are your thoughts. It's not the Yetzirah. It's the power of imagination that is fighting with us that we're going to give up. You're always listening to the voice of Yetzirah that tells you you're ugly, you're stupid, you're dumb. Again, you made the same mistake. You don't have no hope. Look at your life. How many times you learned that and you keep on forgetting it. Your memory is not working. You can't feel, you can't understand what people are saying to you. What are you stupid? What are you dumb? Here you failed again. Here you cheated. Here you betrayed. Here you lied. Here you were stealing. All of the time, he's disgracing us. Just you have the free choice. And the Yetzirah don't have no power. He cannot take control on your life. Just he can try to convince you to choose to walk in a different, in a bad way, against your will. This is why you hate yourself. This is why you blame yourself. This is why you have issues with yourself. Because you're not who that you are from inside. You're not loyal to who that you are. But if we're going to work on that, to reconnect ourselves to the truth, who am I? I'm a generous person. I'm a good person. I love to see people happy. I want to help people. I'm not cruel as I'm saying to myself that I am. Hey, the Yetzirah is telling me all of the time that I am. This is what the Rabbi Nachman of Vesel said, you need to go with your good points, your real good points, who that you are from inside, that you do want to do good, even if you're afraid to do, even if finally you haven't done anything good, if you wanted to. 
it's important and, and, and great enough in the eyes of Hashem.